are you? You are back with comedian David Boyle, who took some painkillers for his finger and fell the fuck asleep for six, seven hours. And I tell you right now, it's 4.30 a.m. in the morning and I feel good. I don't think I've had six, seven unbroken hours of sleep for fucking months. I don't care what time it is, it is a good fucking buzz sleeping. That's my new high. That's what I'm going to do now to get high is just fucking take a nap. I want to move somewhere where they do fucking siestas. Maybe Columbia, shout out to Home Alone. Thanks for the messages, bro. I need to start getting more fucking sleep. You can hear it in the podcast when I listen back. I can hear it anyway. I can see my moods just oscillate on how much fucking sleep I've been getting. If I've been sleeping well, they pop like magic. A life-changing, magical five minutes of wonder. If not, very monotone. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to kill myself. What are the best options? I hate you and the world. So it's best I get some fucking sleep. I'll tell you a genuine fucking fear of mine. This is a genuine fucking fear. A motivating fear. Like I go to work every day. And for some reason because I do comedy and the podcast and my other podcasts. And I'm kind of in the arts if you can fucking call it that. For some reason, I feel like I'm outside. Like, this isn't my real fucking job, even though it's the only thing that pays the fucking bills. So when I go to work, it feels like it's just a temporary thing. It's like, oh, I'll only have to be going to work for the next, like, six months, and then everything will start clicking. Eventually, I'll just be able to leave my job and move on to the next phase of my life. A genuine, a genuine fucking fear is I'm actually just a fucking steel worker. I'm actually just a rigger and a crane operator. Like I'm more that than I am anything else. And I see these guys at work that have been doing it like 20, 25, 30 years. And I look at them and I'm like, can I do that? Can I just do that? for 20, 25 years, just that, turn up to work 5am, knock off maybe 5pm, do that for 20, 25 years, end up with a house, end up with a couple of things, fucking destroy your body, and I'm looking at these guys and I'm like, fuck, how have you done it this long, you hate it, there are some fucking tradies that really enjoy it, that fucking froth it. They fucking froth the tools, man. I fucking froth the tools. i tell you who doesn't froth the tools. Fucking me. I do not froth the tools at all. I can fake it a little bit. Like, for the first couple of months, like, this new fucking job I've got, it's actually doing steel rigging. I got put on as a crane operator, but now I'm doing actual steel. Erecting fucking steel. Which is fucking hard, dangerous work. Hence, I've crushed my finger. And the thing is, it's fucking stretching me out. Like I'm up at 5am. And then I'm back fuck knows when. And it's physical work. And it's fucking hard to do everything. And I have had to look at guys at work. Who are like 25, 30 years into this fucking nightmare. And look at them and go, can I do that? Can I just stop with my arts and just be a steel worker and the answer is a resounding fucking no i will kill myself before that happens i will never become just a fucking steel worker fuck that even if i don't sleep for the next fucking 30 years i'm still fucking sticking with comedy because it's the only thing that doesn't fucking drive me nuts fucking steel worker for 30 years how did i even get into this how did i get into this my old man's a builder he was a bricklayer when i was growing up and now he's a fucking builder and i remember going out to sites with him since i was like fucking eight going if i end up pushing a wheelbarrow which i more or less have i will fucking kill myself 
I think I remember saying that to my old man when I was about nine. Like, if I end up here with you, I'm going to fucking kill myself. He's like, yeah, you're a very fucking smart boy. You don't end up fucking sights your whole life. I got nothing against the guy doing it. I just can't do it myself. I just can't do it. I can fake it for a little while, but eventually my disinterest just shines through. All right, that's it for today. I'm going back to sleep. This has been I'm Quitting Alcohol with... Steel Rigger and Crane Operator David Boyle. I hope you enjoyed the episode because the future is fucking bleak. Add me on social media. If I can get my following up to around about like 300, I think I can quit my job. So add me on Instagram at Boyle Comedy and send me in some stories for Fucked Up Friday. I want to hear some of your drunken stories. I got a whole bunch of regular listeners, so fucking start sending in your stories, you lazy drunks. All right, see you later.